Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in today's quick tip, we're going to go over RGB and HSB sliders. So if you prefer HSB sliders, it's really easy to switch in Adobe Muse. So I'll go ahead and create a square. So I'll select the rectangle tool. I'll hold down shift to create a perfect square and I'll place the square in the center of the website. And with the square selected, I'll go to the upper control bar. I'll select the fill dropdown. And here we have RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. If I select the color, we see the RGB values and we see the hexadecimal value as well. To change to HSB, you simply select this icon here next to the swatches. It has a down arrow with a few lines, and here we can see it says RGB sliders, and it says HSB sliders. I'll go ahead and click on HSB sliders, and now we have hue, saturation, and brightness. So hue is the base color, and we can work with the saturation and the brightness. So a good rule of thumb is if you change the saturation to higher, you'll want to bring down the brightness, and if you bring down the saturation, you'll want to bring up the brightness to get different variations of the base color. All right, so that is it for quick tip number 20, RGB and HSB sliders. Hopefully you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.